Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over my LVUI layout and talking about some basic settings. Fortunately, LVUI now offers an import and export option. So if you're a fan of this particular layout, you can import it with minimal effort as I have a link to the import code in the description box below. First things first. In conjunction with LVUI, I also use add-on skins and shadow and light, which are plugins for LVUI. Add-on skins basically skins various components of your UI to match the LVUI aesthetic. Shadow and Light extends the feature offerings of LVI and allows for further customization of the features that already exist. You can view both of these plugin settings in the LVI configuration window, which you can access via the game menu. In terms of layout, I have my chat window on the left hand side with a mouse over bar above I use for quick access to things like professions and mounts. Attached to that, I have action bars. Most of these bound to the numbers on my keyboard. On the right side, I have the map embedded into the panel, along with meters. The meters I use are SCADA, and they're not actually embedded. They're just locked frames placed over the area. Last I checked, if you use the embed feature in add-on skins to embed multiple meters, it places them side by side, and I preferred mine on top of each other. Attached to this panel, I have my other set of action bars. These I have bound to my mouse. And like the left panel, there is a mouse over bar above this frame. I use this one for various hearthstones and raid mats. Additionally, in the upper left-hand corner is another mouse over bar for WoW utilities. Below the panels, along the bottom of the screen, I have various data text bars. You should note I'm using Shadow and Light to override the data text, so if you import this UI without Shadow and Light, the spacing will be slightly off. To make changes to the left and right panels, you'll want to open up the LVY configuration screen. In this area, you can change the height and width of them along with various other settings. To keybind your action bars, you can go to action bars and click keybind mode. This will allow you to hover over a button and set a keybind for it. To make changes to the data text, you can go to the data text option and choose what you'd like to display on them. These are not to be confused with the data bars, however, which is where you'll be able to mess with your settings for your XP bar, artifact bar, reputation bar, and honor bar. Along this center area, I have my player frame on the left, which is mirrored by my target frame on the right, and a focus frame shows up as a smaller frame in the center. I have other profiles where the target and focus frame are swapped, or I use boss frames instead of the center frame. I switch between these profiles based off of what I'm doing in game, and will often have different profiles set up for different boss encounters to allow me to keep track of what I need to. You can make changes to these frames and enable various other frames inside the unit frames options. I use Voodoo to track all the buffs and debuffs I need to pay attention to inside of raids, but I've created this particular profile to use for leveling, so I wanted to show the various buffs and debuffs in the world on my player and target frame. Since they are built into those frames, if you have extra buffs or debuffs displaying along the top of your screen, go into the buffs and debuffs setting, oh my god I'm saying buffs and debuffs way too much, and make sure it's not enabled and that the box to disable the blizzard ones is checked. Lastly, to move pretty much any component in your layout, click on the Toggle Anchors button at the top of the window. Once you're satisfied with the positioning, you can click the lock button to take you back to your normal screen. I wanted to share this profile with you guys now, but note that I will likely still be making changes to the setup and creating additional profiles to fit my needs inside of Legion. UIs are a pretty personal thing in my opinion, and everyone's tastes are so different, so if you end up importing my UI, I encourage you to use it as a starting point and play around with the different options to make it your own. I love seeing what you guys come up with, so if you end up with something you're proud of, make sure to tweet a photo to Lay Plays. I hope you guys found this video helpful and that your hype levels are at max for Legion launch.